Alex Rosenberg. Uh, I started out as a physics, physics student and made a conceptual mistake, which led me into philosophy. Um, I was cured of the mistake by David Hume, but it was too late to go back into physics. And I <laughs> ended up um, working uh, in the philosophy of economics uh, for a long time, but economists were never interested what, in what anybody had to say about the problems in their own discipline, so I moved to the philosophy of biology long ago. Um, and I'm mainly hoping to be able to keep my mouth shut and listen <laughs> to, uh, uh, at this meeting because uh, uh, the thing that um, I could change my mind about is fairly radical. Um, my own view is that naturalism is really deeply incompatible with what Wilfred Sellers called the manifest image. And I'm sure that philosophers around this table will help non-philosophers understand what is meant by the manifest image. Um, and of course, there are people around this table who insist that it is compatible with large chunks of the manifest image. And if they could change my mind, then I would be very happy. Could, well, can you just give us the one yeah, sentence please, please. of what the <laughs> manifest image is and why it's incompatible? So the manifest image is uh, uh, a intelligent, sophisticated, well-informed version of common sense, uh, of a, a, a view about the uh, the furniture of reality that reflects what most people believe it is without being supernatural. Is that fair, Dan? I'll have more to say about that. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> and and, and I've, I've written a book called uh, The Atheist Guide to Reality, not my title. My title was Reality the Rough Guide, but unfortunately my agent told me that the rough guide was a term that had already been copyrighted by somebody mm -hmm. else. And in this book I have argued in a sustained way that naturalism commits us to reject almost all of the manifest image, and that's why I would like to have my mind changed. <laughs>